Today, we'll be reviewing the remote mine. It reminded me of you. The remote mine I kinda is exactly as it sounds. It's a mine that is triggered whenever an enemy walks within the radius of about one meter. Or, you know, it could also blow up whenever it takes damage. This makes it useless. Say you're a constructor trying to, you know, go around swinging, swinging, swinging. Then you decide, oh, hey, I'm just gonna drop this. That will blow it up. You know what else blows it up? Oh, hey, look at this. I'm on a... Maybe an enemy gets too close to one. Boom. Both of them explode. This makes it the worst ability in-game. That, along, I'm sure most of you may have noticed, alongside the 4-minute cooldown. This 4-minute cooldown makes it so that you can only place 18 of these in a mission once, once you have the final perk unlocked within the skill, research skill tree tier 4. 18 of these. These do about the damage of a grenade on a 4-minute cooldown. 18 of these within 60 minutes. That is just a mind-boggling amount of uselessness. Not to mention on top of that, they just randomly despawn. I don't know where they go. I don't know what happens to them. But they just go away. Never to be seen again. Say you want to set up a whole bunch of them as a constructor before you go into... Uh, actual defense. You set down your four, five, six, maybe seven of them if you wait that long. And then, boom, they're all gone. And when you turn around, they're just gone. I don't know what the despawn is caused by. I tried waiting around for ten minutes watching one, and it didn't disappear, so I have to assume it goes away by going too far. I don't know. A testing couldn't really figure out why it does that, but it certainly does that because they've been disappearing within a safe testing ground, this one specifically. So who knows what causes that? So what can we do to make these better? Well, A, reduce the cooldown to 30 seconds. This allows the constructor to set up quite a few of them within the short span of time they're usually given to set up a base and traps. B, make it so any no forms of damage will trigger it. Because even beehive husks will trigger this. Beehive husks. They're bees. They come over it and just blow it up. Those bees are everywhere. The AoE from the lobbers. That blows them up as well. It's, why does that blow them up? So remove them from being triggered by enemies. And remove them from being triggered by each other as well. Don't let allies shoot them. Don't let you shoot them. Don't let anyone shoot them to blow them up. This makes them useless. This makes them blow up before an enemy can even walk on them. What else can we do? Well, we can increase the damage slightly. At least enough to kill a husky. Anything else? I suppose we could also uh, allow you to carry more at the start of a mission. I'd say at least 10. This allows you to set down a good defense, and they will deal about. They'll deal, they'll deal more than a regular trap, but they are one time use only. Keep this in mind they are one time use. So allow, allowing you to carry maybe 10 of them at the start of a mission, you place them down around the objective. And even these will start to get blown up by random husk wads wandering through. So a 30 second cooldown is looking pretty good. So let's go over the three things I just said to make these actually useful. 30 second cooldown. Allow them to uh, not be triggered by any form of damage or each other. And three, uh, cause them to deal more damage. Or no, 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 I'm sorry. Allow them to, uh, allow you to place, uh, have more, have about ten at the start. 
then maybe you can just have them as a secondary form of trapping. Still don't think they'll be as useful as the actual rockets, or the uh, hover drones, because those things are overpowered as hell. And honestly need a few nerfs, but I mean they'll actually be somewhat useful. They'll allow you to have a secondary form of traps without having to craft stuff. Anyways, that was my quick take on the uh, proximity mines. We'll be getting to this useless slow field thing later oh, on in another sorry. video. And I apologize for not doing the Raven or the Raven Carbide comparison. Things got a little wacky last week and I wasn't really able to get to them. So hopefully sometime within the next two weeks I'll get to them. I might do a review on the new soldier tomorrow, but it really doesn't look that... Or I guess it's today when this is being recorded, but he doesn't look all that interesting. He and she, because it's Jonesy and Ramirez. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.